It all started in Venice in the late 60s, back when we weren't sure if we'd win the space race. Some rusky had just done the first spacewalk. Then the Surveyor, the first lunar soft lander was launched, which brought the Luna Stone down to Earth. Back then, nobody really knew just how far out that rock was. Guess that's why they let the Europeans stick it in a museum. All of San Francisco was buzzing about it. We'd even found a potential buyer. When we asked Don Cesare to fund our highs, honey, he couldn't cut the check fast enough. Back then, there were still six of us. Murray's plan seemed airtight. That cat had thought of every detail. Basically, everything in Venice had gone according to plan. For Murray, anyhow. Welcome to Venice, guys. Welcome to the Fondaco de Marachini. I hope you had a good flight. Food could have been better. Murray, before we get the Luna Stone, give us some time to get oriented. As ever. Just a garden variety R30 K lock. Piece of cake. How's it going, Cleo? Really funny. What does locking me in here have to do with the plan? I'll explain later. Just try to get out, will you? You really are sick. You know that, Murray? overlooked anything, Murray? Yes, I'm sure. Now focus. There will definitely be more to take than just the Lunar Stone. Get going, Bishop. Open the door for Rocket, and make sure you don't forget any loot. I don't think I like your tone, Murray. Bishop, you've 
seen these kinds of cameras before. Very funny, Murray. I thought you were going to deactivate the camera. Come on. It's just more fun with a little risk. need to work on your coordination. Timing ain't just a restaurant in Chinatown, you know? Ah, uh, yes. Just like the Carson City job in 63. First time we worked together, remember, Bishop? How could I forget? That job was more a question of patience for me. When's it my turn to do something, oh, great mastermind? All in due time, honey. The path is clear. There's no need to rush. I can see two crowbars. Knock yourself out, buddy. Be kidding me! 
nothing happened. Well, that was thrilling. Mr. Finlopkovich, would you be so kind as to hand me the crowbar? I would be inconsolable were I ever to let you down, Miss Rollins. Please do accept this tool. Rocket, this is a man thing. Screw you, Murray. I'll do it. I could do it. Great, Rocket. Are you done acting like children? Stick to the plan, damn it. One more switch. And you're there. There are guards waiting right behind that door. Are we just going to stand here or are we going to bag the loot? Murray, are you sure everything's going according to plan? I have a bad feeling about this. My god, act like a bunch of babies, why don't you? totally screwed us over. Chazara bailed us out and we even found a way to pay him back. But after Venice, the team fell apart. And without a team, we had no chance to ever pull off the big jobs again. I suppose this is exactly what Murray had in store for us. No more sharing with anyone. Especially not the Luna Stone. Lobkowitz fell off the face of the earth. We didn't hear a peep from him for years. Rufus and Rocket, the Rawlings siblings, went back to professional wrestling. All they really got out of it was bumps and bruises. Bishop founded an environmental group and dedicated his life to saving the planet. We'd occasionally do jobs together, but it wasn't the same. There were rumors that Murray had slimed his way into circles of people with power and influence. But no one really knew where that rat was hiding. Five years later, the Luna Stone was on exhibit again. In San Francisco, right in front of our faces. Accident or not, Bishop and I agreed that Murray would try to make off with the stone again. This time, he needed to pay for what he did to the crew. This time, the Luna Stone would be ours. And Don Cesare was ready with intel for step one of the plan. <laughs> 